All right, I'm so freaking hungover, okay? But I'm still making this goddamn video. So you better like, share, subscribe. That's all I'm saying. Hello, hello, and welcome to a new video. My name is Smriti. I am here today to help you. <laughs> um, because essentially, it's the end of the year. We all know this. We're not like living in some cave with no calendar so i am here to help you with your reading goals um or just to help you with some great recommendations of short books because you know sometimes we need like those short books to help us get to that numeric goal that we set for each other i don't know why we do this but some of us do this where we set like hey i want to read like 50 books by the end of this year or like 20 books by the end of the year but like it's december and you've read like six so you're like Whoa. <laughs> but i need some sense of accomplishment so you know uh you tend to read shorter books um and that's totally fine i've done this too um and i see you but what i'm here to do today is help you get those short books which are actually freaking good so um let me begin with these recommendations i have 20 plus recommendations for you but before i begin i have done literally the same video uh last year so i will link you to that in like the description as well as another video where i recommended short indian translated books under 200 pages that i think you should check out as well so yeah i just think that like overall i've been giving you short book recommendations and now i'm here to give you more so let's get to it all right cool so my first recommendation is going to be hour of the star by clarice lispector and this is a book translated from uh, portuguese by benjamin moser if i'm not mistaken um i read this last year i think uh and i absolutely fell in love with it this is an 84 pager book which honestly actually took me some time uh because there's a lot to think about in this book but it is a beauty um basically we are following this um author who is dictating like a book to like this person so we are sort of hearing his perspective but um of like what it means to write a book and all of that sort of stuff so it's sort of him breaking the fourth wall and then he starts actually like narrating this book um and it's basically about this young girl who lives in like northeast of brazil under a lot of poverty and like um her love life but also like just her dealing with being poor um and i don't want to say too much about what happens etc but like this book i don't know it just took me for a tailspin because it was just so beautifully written um but also like it made me think so much um and i really 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 enjoyed it i will link you to the video where i read the book it was a book where i was video where i was trying to read um as many books as i can from all the different continents in 24 hours so if you want to check that out you can but um check out this book more importantly because that's what it's all about i thought that this book was excellent next is a book that i think is one of my favorite books of this year which is assembly by natasha brown now this is natasha brown's first book ever like it's her debut novel and i think that it's absolutely amazing now this book as well um it talks about this woman um who is dealing with some news that she's gotten into her life so she's trying to deal with the idea of what just happened and what she's gotten to know but also she is on her way to her boyfriend's uh parents party at like this big estate that they own now she is black and he is white um and it's just her thoughts throughout um and how it means to be black or like of a person of color um in like england in the U in the uk basically um like the racism the classism everything that she sort of speaks about she speaks about colonization she speaks about like it's just so much um and i thought that this book was absolutely brilliant as a person who lives in a country that was colonized um as a person of color i feel like this book really really spoke to me um and just was like i was just like wowed by her prose and like all that she could say in these short i think 104 pages um 
absolutely lovely and would definitely recommend so check that out as well <laughs> well turns out that i'm recommending books to you from that part of the world because the next book is small things like these now this book is a small book it's about 114 pages um and it won the Orwell Prize and was also shortlisted for the Booker Prize and I think that it deserves it. When I started reading it, again I do have a video where I have like discussed this so I will link that to you but when I first started reading it I was a little underwhelmed but the more time that I spent away from this book the more I like really love and can acknowledge how brilliant it was because essentially we are following this man in like the 90s i would like to say or like the 80s in ireland it's right before christmas um he is delivering coal to like a, a, a nunnery essentially and he sees something um that disturbs him so it's that and what he ends up doing with regards to that but also more than that it's about just getting to know him as a person and I think that it was so interesting because we through these little vignettes of him talking about like family or like whatever you know we really got to understand this person um his name is like something furlong I think and like we understand why he made that sort of like decision um and I just I just really really loved how like small this was but also so like packed with like humanity i don't know if that makes sense to you but like yeah i think that's what it was for me um and i do hope that you check it out and if you have read this book i would love to discuss this with you but yeah that is my third small book recommendation for you my fourth small book recommendation for you is actually a play so you're like what <laughs> why are you recommending plays but this book I don't know also had a really interesting effect on me and that is death of a salesman by arthur miller now this is a pretty old play i think it was like made in like the 19 or written in the 1960s i think but like it has themes that are still so true till today because essentially we are following this man um who is trying to live the American dream, right? He's a salesman, um, he's been at it for a while now, um, and he's just not got the sort of success that he wants to, but he's trying to project that onto society because that's what it's all about. Um, and then he has his two sons, um, one who's disillusioned, one who's still trying to like do the same things that his father is doing, and like it's just that whole journey. And like I thought that this book was and this play was just so moving and like it just it just had all of these lines that I was like wow this is so true to today because in this capitalist consumerist world that we live in it's just something that like we keep wanting money and we keep getting told that if you work hard and you do things right then you will like be the millionaire that like you know you see all these people being like oh I have I've worked hard and I I got the American dream but that may not be true for a lot of people um, and this book just like really showed you that and I thought that it was absolutely brilliant and I would also recommend I think it's about 125 pages and yes book that the fifth book that I would like to recommend to you is The Hen Who Dreamed That She Could Fly now this is a book that I just read very recently it is a Korean book which is translated from Korean um, and it's basically about this hen who is in a farm and she dreams that she can fly the coop um, and hatch her own egg because she's not been able to do so uh, because her hens get taken I mean her eggs get taken away um and yeah it's it's about that but it's about so much more it's about like motherhood and like grit and determination and love um and it's just this really really sweet book it's like supposed to be like fable like and it's supposed to be for children but i don't know if i want children to read it but i would definitely recommend to adults um i thought that this was just so sweet but so sad and just like a bit of sweet essentially uh yeah i just really enjoyed this one and and i think you would do the sixth book that i would like to recommend to you is when i hid my cast by babura bagul which was translated from marathi to english by jerry pinto now this book was just such a I don't know it was just such a revelation to me and I thought this book was so well written and so atmospheric and just 
beautifully written. Now, this book is a short story collection about what it means to be Dalit in this like world um, and its various like characters thoughts and like their lives and all of that sort of stuff i've spoken about this in greater detail in um my favorite books of the year so far i will link you to that video if you want i'm sorry i'm linking you to so many other videos but i have spoken about these work in the past um but yeah i thought this book was absolutely excellent in the way that it was written it was so like evocative but also like it made you think so much um and yeah I just really really appreciated it and I think that it's a book that will stick with me for many many moons so uh would definitely recommend to you as well so that hopefully it gets stuck in your head as well and then we can discuss it another Indian book that I have for you is Heroes the Color of Dust which is a young adult book um which is written by uh, Amit Majumdar, I think. Um, and this is a book about uh, birds. <laughs> I have two books about birds in this video. But yes, it's a book about birds who want to help out Mahatma Gandhi when he is on his Dandi March. Um, and yeah, it's, it's this really sweet book about like how... It doesn't matter how small you are or how insignificant you may like look that you too can make a difference. Um, and I think that this book is just really, really, really sweet um, and like very well done and also weirdly like satirical um, and just like I had a really good time reading it as an adult and I know that um, kids would have a really good time reading it as well. So I would recommend that you as an adult, probably, are you an adult, um, read this book and then also pass it down to like the kids in your family and stuff like that because I think that like this was really sweet but also gave you like an understanding of like historically what was going on um and yeah this was a great recommendation and i think it's about like 136 pages so there you have it oh jesus the next book is a book that destroyed me but is also going to be one of my favorite books of this year um again another book <laughs> but that is Elena Knows uh, by Claudia Pinero, translated by Francis Riddle. And this is a book um, where we're following Elena, who is an old lady. She's in about like her 60s and she has Parkinson's. Um, so she's having trouble to like just generally um, live and like her motor skills and all are really down. And it's just really harrowing to read that um, and just be in her mind um because they really describe it in like great detail as to like what it is like to be this person to live with this disease and it just like it really screws with your mind as to like wow i you know as a person who knows what parkinson's is as to like what it could be like but this really really explains it to you so yeah if if you have any like loved ones who have had the disease then like maybe maybe don't read it but <laughs> because it's really a lot but um i love this book because essentially we're following elena over one day um and she has had a daughter who has recently died and she thinks that her daughter has been murdered whereas everyone else believes that her daughter actually died of suicide um but she truly, truly believes and she truly thinks that she knows that um, her daughter couldn't have done this. So she is trying to make this journey to go meet someone who she thinks can help her um, prove this. Um, and that's basically what this book is about. This is, when you describe it, you think that it's sort of like a thriller-esque sort of thingy or like a mystery sort of thing, but it's, it's really not. It's much more than that. Um, and like, this book will destroy you but it's just so good so go in with those thoughts in mind um wherein if you think that you can't handle it <laughs> don't but if you think you can it's freaking amazing and i would so highly recommend so highly like so highly the next book is also a debut novel and I can't believe that it's a debut novel but it is Open Water by Caleb Azuma Nelson um, and this is a book that I read last year and absolutely fell in love with um, and this basically follows this young man who basically falls in love with someone and we get to see his love story about how 
that relationship sort of began and like it it just like describes it in such like this beautiful way it feels like you are really like part of it and you're seeing this happen it's so like evocative in that but also he's dealing with other things as to like being um like a person of color or like black in like the UK and what that means and like all of that sort of stuff i just thought that this book was absolutely brilliant not only in talking about love and like showing what this relationship is like and how it like goes from like a friendship to like an attraction to like whatever but talking about so much more as well um and it's just so brilliantly written as well so yeah highly recommend this one open water by Kayla Bazuman Nelson what a great read the next book is uh by my bay who is jumpa lehri um and the book that i would like to recommend to you is her latest fiction book which is whereabouts um and this is basically we are following this woman um who lives in rome if i'm not mistaken it's basically like some city in italy it's unnamed but yeah um and we basically get like vignettes of her life um and of her time there and like it could be of her sitting like at a tutorial eating food and looking at like the um like owner and his daughter's relationship it could be her walking down the road or her buying a book but like i don't know it sounds so like mundane but jumpa lehri just puts magic into it i don't know what she does but she does something and it becomes amazing and you're just like wow um it just it talks about being in solitude and like being alone but being happy with yourself and what that means and like i just i just i loved this book and like if you read it i know that you will do so I have another translated book for you and this one is How to Order the Universe by Maria Jose Fernanda translated by Elizabeth Pryor if I'm not mistaken and this one basically follows this young girl whose name is M who um is in a interesting space because she goes around with her father who is a traveling salesman um and she basically helps him like do sales um and it's it's her told through this young girl's perspective and how she's looking at the world and how she looks at the relationship between her and her father father and other people her and other people as well as like her mom but it also talks about like what's happening in chile at that point of time with like how people have dealt with like pinochet's um regime and like the um like student uh, rebellion that sort of took place talks about just like how people have dealt with it and and it's not just about that it's basically about this girl and her growing up and her relationships with the people around her more importantly her father um and who is a struggling salesman and it's just absolutely brilliant i loved the way that this was written um and how we got to see this from this young girl's eyes um and i just thought that it was absolutely amazing and such an underrated book that i think more people need to read so yeah how to order the universe all right the next book is a book that i don't know if a lot of people are going to love but it is temporary by hilary something i'm forgetting her surname but um i love this book it's so weird basically we are following this girl who is a temp so she is a person who uh goes in when people like leave their job she's like a temporary worker in between but she fills in for like these really weird sort of jobs so in the first thing we see her being a temp for the chairman of a board uh, and then we see her being a temp for a person on a pirate ship or a temp for a guy who's a killer um and his being his secretary or like whatever like an assassin and it's just like so weird but through these weird experiences that she has she talks about like just being a person in this world um and i thought that it was so weirdly done like if you like Kurt Vonnegut like that's the sort of stuff that came into my brain where it's like this weird book but ultimately has like this lesson that is trying to like tell you or like something that is trying to like make you think about um and yeah i just i just thought this book was really good but so weird but i loved it so uh yeah would highly recommend temporary temporary by hilary lyco i think 
The next book that I would like to recommend is a book that I actually listened to as an audiobook and I would highly recommend that. So if you have like a scribd membership or like whatever you listen to, uh, you know, audiobooks. If you don't, by the way, have a scribd membership, then you can check out my link down below and you get two months free uh but yes anyway point is this book was a book that me trigger you because if you have been through a emotionally abusive relationship then <laughs> mm, because this book we're basically following this girl um it is by the way translated from icelandic so that's something uh but yeah this book is just something because we're basically following this girl who starts getting into this relationship and we see slowly how uh the man seems like an asshole um and we as the reader can see it and we like while reading this book honestly i just wanted to like reach into this world and just like stop her because we can see how she's giving these excuses we're seeing how she's going deeper and deeper into this but it's just so freaking real and this will like call out relationships and call out people in like this really weird visceral way um and it just makes you feel so much but like i <laughs> like it's weird to say that i love this book because like i hated reading it like i i loved it but i hated it like i don't know if you get what i mean but like it was it was so good but also like mm. so yeah um magma <laughs> is that book uh oh jesus but like i would still recommend it though all right the next book is not a book but a book series but all of them are short books and that is the wayward children series now essentially by shauna mcguire now essentially this book follows a bunch of these kids who are now in this school called the uh eleanor something's school for wayward children and essentially all of these children have at some point of time gone into a door and gone into another world now all of these worlds are very very different and through this book series we basically follow different children who have gone into different worlds and they're all really strange but really good like one of these most of these books i absolutely adored um maybe one or two i didn't like but that's purely like a me thing i think that these books are really well written the characters are just so amazing and so wonderfully queer and and like inclusive in general you know um and i really really have grown to enjoy this series um i read this in the beginning of the year in january actually um and yeah i just fell in love with the entire series so would definitely recommend this series um you can just go through it and read like seven books in one shot um and it's it's amazing so yeah it's like would highly recommend that's basically my thought process now um before we come to a close i want to also give you some graphic novel recommendations because um i was asked to fit very recently and i am here to provide now in my previous video which i have done i did give you graphic novel recommendations in the absolutely beginning now i'm going to give it to you in the end so let's but before we get into graphic novels let's get into manga because i started reading this series called spy family uh, which was absolutely adorable i read three volumes so far um and essentially we are following this guy called midnight i think yeah who is a spy um and he <laughs> has to infiltrate the school because there's this target that he has um who only interacts with the outside world when he goes to his son's like school events but he doesn't have like a child so he adopts this child who he doesn't know can read minds so he's like oh so like we get to see from like anya's perspective as well as well as this spy who is midnight but he also needs to have a whole different cover so he also needs a wife so he basically propositions this woman um who he meets at like a tailor shop or whatever but turns out that that uh, tailor lady person is um also an assassin and no one knows of this so it's all a big secret anya of course knows all of this because she can read minds but she's not telling anyone and she's having a ball of a time uh, <laughs> but yeah this book was like the series has just been overall really freaking cute um, the next manga series that i read is not a good fun time but is very cute it also has a cute kid um and that is my 
brother's husband um now this is two volumes where essentially we are following um this japanese family where there's a like a man and his daughter um and his brother um who lived in the u.s i think or like somewhere in north america um could be canada i don't know um his husband is coming to visit them because his brother has passed now the brother is obviously he was gay and and so is the husband um and the two of them which is the guy the main guy as well as the daughter are trying to come to terms with it more the guy than like the daughter the daughter is very sweet um but yeah it's just like them dealing with each other and like the awkwardness of it initially but also them going through the grief of losing like someone who they loved um and it's just very very sweet and very very like nice um so yeah i would overall recommend this series and this manga series as well but let's get into the actual graphic novels now okay of course i have to recommend the heartstopper series um heartstopper is just such a cute series we're basically following nick and charlie i'm sure everyone knows about it so i'm gonna go through it very briefly but yeah nick and charlie who are in school they discover nick is out of no is nick out of the closet no charlie's out of the closet nick is in and it's just like this cute thing of how they develop a friendship fall in love there are other friends around them and all of that sort of stuff it's just really adorable there's also like the netflix series um which is on right now on netflix of course and it's just overall a really cute heartwarming sort of thing that also talks about things like homophobia or coming out of the closet and like mental illness and like you know like depression all of that sort of stuff in this very 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 sweet heartwarming sort of way and i love it so i know that you will do another series that i read actually on script itself is fence and that is a series that has like i think six volumes now uh where we are following a school where um this boy who is from the outside he hasn't been like ever taught fencing he's like sort of self taught um he is determined to get into the school which has like this elite fencing team um and how he's determined to get onto that team and how there's this other guy who's like this like fencing prodigy who um have they have some situations between themselves um and how they are competing and now there are other people who are also fencers and all of that sort of stuff it's just this really sweet uh sort of book about fencing but also like grit and determination and wanting to belong and all of that sort of stuff um it's just very sweet and i would uh recommend and then the last two books the last two graphic novels are non fiction graphic novels that i would highly recommend the first one is they call us uh they called us enemy and that is by george takai who as everyone knows is the guy from like star trek and like many other movies but it basically talks about him being japanese american and dealing with like internment camps and and what that was like for him and his family and like how it not only talks about that but also like his life about how he joined star trek and what that meant for him and his family and the japanese like community japanese american community and like just so much more and i thought that this book was um really good where it didn't only talk about the japanese internment but also spoke about like the repercussions of the same and all of that sort of stuff and like him and his family relations and all of that sort of stuff and i thought that this book was really really well done um and it it takes like a different um tone or different like it gives you a different idea of like george takai as a person as this person who has always been the super famous person that we've known um and just giving us an understanding of like his beginnings and all of that sort of stuff so yeah um this was really good would highly recommend and, uh, the other graphic novel that i would recommend is the best that we could do by tbui uh i may be saying this very wrong but essentially the book starts off with her giving birth um to a child and her dealing with her mum but we also go back to understand them as people who had to flee um like these war torn areas in asia and how 
they sort of dealt with it how her parents dealt with it how um you know like her her dad and everything like just understanding them as people um and i thought that this book did such a good job of talking not only about like what happened during that time but also about like how that reacted and how that made people behave ultimately as well and how it what it means to be a survivor of these terrible situations and how that sort of gets imprinted on to kids of the next generation as well um and it i just thought that it was really well done um the like graphic novel is also like really nice to look at but also like it just talks about things in this very very beautiful like interesting sort of way um and yeah i just really enjoyed it but that's the end of the 20ish plus recommendations that i had for you um i know this video is not short but um hopefully you will get to reading these short books and um complete your goals but even if it's not about completing your goals these books are freaking excellent so i would just recommend them wholeheartedly regardless so yeah that's it for um this video um if you liked this then i do hope that you uh click the like button subscribe um you know watch my other videos as well um this is part of my end of the year series so there are many more videos yet to come i have done two already this was the third one but yeah overall um if you want to also like help me out you can do so with um links in my description um i hope that you check it out and um the bell rang so i'm going to go get that and i will see you in my next video bye